This is a version of a high intensity activated crosswalk or Hawk Beacon. This example is in Omaha near 50th and G Streets at the crossing for the South Omaha Trail. Very soon a similar system will serve as a traffic control device here at the intersection of 2nd and Washington Streets. Alex Evans is the city engineer. But the intent of the Hawk and the pedestrian beacon is to have that not affect traffic uh, traffic flow when there is no pedestrian cross. In 2020, the city performed a traffic pedestrian corridor study for 84th Street. Here's how that works. A traffic engineer analyzes vehicle traffic volume, pedestrian activity, intersection crash history, and the physical environment in order to determine whether or not an intersection warrants a traffic control signal. Second in Washington did not meet the threshold of any of the warrant conditions, including pedestrian traffic, or traffic on 2nd Street, so it didn't warrant a full traffic signalization. So the Hawk Beacon, this pedestrian hybrid beacon, will allow for that traffic control and that protected uh, pedestrian crossing uh, without being a full traffic signal. Here's how the beacon works. The pedestrian or bike rider pushes the button. The first signal across the mast arm is a blinking yellow light, notifying the approaching traffic someone is ready to cross the intersection. Next, the light goes solid yellow, serving as a traditional caution light. Once the light turns solid red, all traffic must stop and it's safe for the pedestrian or the biker to cross. Throughout the sequence, pedestrians will also see the familiar walk and don't walk signals. The signal being installed at 2nd and Washington will also be equipped with pedestrian detection sensors. So that'll extend uh, or modify the sequence and the timing based on how fast that pedestrian can actually cross the street. This detection actually can, can uh, pick up pedestrians within the crosswalk and they will extend that cycle if need be. The last segment of the light is a blinking red light. This allows the cars to go once the crosswalk is clear. Work has started on the installation of the Hawk signal and should be completed by the end of August. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.